Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part three of scenario based question series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Our first question is, there are category and multiple measures in the view with grand total user wants total only for sales and profit how you can do it first let's create the scenario let's drag category and all the measures now go to analysis go to total and add grand total okay and now adjust this as well now you can see we have a grand total for all the measures but we want only for sales and profit so how we can hide grand total for others so for this let's drag it here so that it comes under our recording window now to hide this right click on every measures go to total using and hide it okay now you can see it is hidden same you can do it for other as well yeah now you can see we have grand total only just for sales and profit other are hidden okay this is how you can solve this problem let's move to our next question this calculation will work or not if category is equal to furniture then sum of sales else sum of profit if you already know the answer Please let me know in the comment section with the explanation. Okay. Now let's create a calculated field and type the same calculation. Category is equal to furniture. Sum of sales. Else. Sum of profit and and our calculation okay this is giving error because we can't mix aggregate and non aggregate value okay so to make it correct we can remove our aggregated function and now you can see it is working just click on okay drag category and drag our calculation as well okay now for the furniture it is showing the sum of sales and for others it is showing profit how to verify it just drag sales and profit okay now you can see for the furniture it is showing this value that is coming from sales and for other two it is showing the value that is coming from profit okay this is how you can solve this problem let's move to our next question there is sales over month in the view user want fiscal year should start from april how you can do it for this let's drag order date remove quarter rotate our values and drag sales okay every year uh, starting month is jan so how we can start it from april for this go to our data source go to date properties and go to fiscal year start from here we can choose april now once we click on it it will start our year from april and just click on ok now go to year and we don't want our just click on ok now you can see now you can see our every year is starting from april ok this is how you can solve this problem let's move to our next question how to find average sales of customer in each region so there are two ways to do it first let's drag our reason customer name and sales okay so we need to find out the average sales of customer in each region so let's do it first let's create a calculator field and rename average sales of customers and we are going to divide sum of sales by distinct count of 
customer okay and click on okay now we don't want customer name and just drag out average sales so this is the average sales of customers in each region okay and let's do it into the second method as well so for this we are going to use our include LOD average sales of customer 2 and here we are going to use include customer name and then sum of sales and close our bracket and click on ok now repeat the same process and drag our values and change it to average okay now let's match the value so here for the central we have 800 average sales and here we also have 800 and 1015 and here we have 1016 that this is because it is rounded value and 765 765 1078 1078.4 okay both values are matching so these are the two ways to do it that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos